So now uh, we can uh, try to, oh, we can remove the, the grill. There we go. Welcome to our YouTube channel again. This is Ethan Kors from Kors Trading. And today we have another beautiful product at the table. Today we're gonna do a deassembling process for the Beulet 15. It's the second generation for the Beulet uh, line uh, in the model line. There is 12, 15 and 17 and 20. This is the 15 model. Uh, currently this is not working at all. The, when, when we plug it in, there is no uh, uh, light or anything. And yeah, so we're gonna strip all the parts and see what's uh, under the hood and look uh, up what parts Bang Olufsen has used to produce uh, this model. So uh, this is the 15, it's the second uh, generation for the Beulet lineup, as, as I said. And uh, yeah, let's talk about a little bit about the, the Beulet 15. It's designed by the famous designer Cecil Mans. Cecil Mans has produced uh, many uh, products for Bang Olufsen. And, and the dimension is uh, 23, 98.9 and it's around 14 centimeters and the weight is 2.7 kilos and we also have the power consumption is typically around 40 watts inside the Beulet 15 we have two times 45 watts class D for the bass and triple and uh, there's around a total of 240 peak powers Inside the, the drivers, there's uh, actually five drivers. One 5.5 long stroke full range driver, two times four uh, passive bass radiator, and three times 1.5 mid tweeters. The cabinet principles is a balanced passive uh, and bass radiators. It has uh, Bluetooth, it's a little bit old, but it's Bluetooth 4.0. APTX connectivity and we also have some uh, controls we have power supply and we have some uh, Bluetooth connectivity to connect to the Bluetooth and volume plus and minus and we also have the connections the connections are right here and uh, the hinges is broken so uh, normally is uh, this is broken, so we can't do much about it, but normally it's uh, locked. So we have the power cord, we have the USB connection, uh, and we also have a line in input right here, and normally USB port. The battery uh, can hold around uh, 24 hours, depending on the playtime and volume, and charging time is around 3 hours. You can actually, uh, you could actually get an drift in colors also. Uh, you can uh, get it in natural champagne, uh, shaded rose, polar blue, and natural. And the straps, the leather strap, you can get in light natural, coral, coal black, and generated gray. So uh, yeah. So uh, this was uh, something about the, the specification about the Beulet 15. Um, there is a lot of futures. Uh, this one of the futures was a true, true, uh, three sixty combination where the sound is uh, getting out in all different directions. So it was also very great. So let's try to dig in into the product and see if we can uh, strip all the parts out and see what we have inside the Beulet Fifteen. So let's begin. Uh, let's try to remove first the. Uh, this one is already broke. This is the the, uh, the cap uh, for the input board. Uh, I know we I have done a DSM process for Beulet uh, 17. So uh, there are some screws underneath the, the foot, feet, foot, and we also have the type number, type number, serial number. Uh, yeah, produce and no uh, manufacturing and in China but design in, in Denmark so let's uh, begin by removing the foot so we can go into the product oh, yeah it can be really hard to remove 
these foods, but it's only glued. And also, let's remove this one. Maybe it's been set for the previous owner. Let's remove them. Here we go. Right now, we have uh, removed uh, the, the rubber feet under the, the BioLED 15. So there's four screws we need to remove and let's do that. We have now removed the screws and I think we can just lift it up and... S s I'm not sure, but uh, let's try. Here we go. There's any screws here. Mm. This is connected. It's fixed. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. And we have one connection here. Here we go. Here's the bottom part, and we have the USB here and uh, line in input and we have a PCB board and we also we can also remove that we have this is the PCB board for the line in and the USB and we also have some for the screws and I think we also can remove this one here we go and this is for the hinge coming like this Okay. Here we go for the hinge, and here is the complete bottom part. Look like this, and we can even see the manufacturing year. Uh, it's been produced in two thousand and no, like sixteen. Can't be in true. Yeah manufacturing dates so now uh, we can uh, try to oh we can remove the the grill here we go so let's move this one and here's the complete grill and actually in very good shape put this one aside and here we have the Beulis 15 without uh, any covers and we have the big woofer and we have the, the tweeters around. So let's try to de 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 deconnect the, the battery. Here we go. And you can also buy this one in many places. If your battery is, uh, is very low or dead for BOLA 15, you can just plug the new one in right away. So uh, next step is uh, we're going to I think we're gonna start by removing the top part. So uh, we're gonna remove all the screws around. There's one, two, three, four screws we need to do. So let's do that. We have now removed the screws. Uh, so let's try to see if we can pull the top cover off. I'm not sure if we can do that, but. Uh, Also, I think there is one screw here we may are missing. No. So, yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. There's one, two. three four screws we have removed but the, the cork what about the, no it's pretty stuck uh, oh there's also four screws at the corners I missed. So we also we can also remove that. Now the screws are removed and let's try to pop it out. Here we go. And disconnect the connection here. Move this one aside. And here's the 
the buttons and let's remove the five screws the screws are removed and we can take the PCB board up and here is the button board remove it here and we can uh, take the the phys physical uh, buttons out and the top part here we go look like this and I'll put it here so let's bring the the cabinet back and see if we can I think we should start with the there's I think there are some hiding screws underneath here there's one two three four five six seven so let's start by removing the screws and see what we can uh, find we have finally removed all the screws there's a uh, different uh, type of screws holes one here hitting all the way around and i think we can just lift it up here we go and see what we have inside this beautiful product so uh, we have the power supply the big woofer the main board and the three triggers and we also have the radiator so uh, let's try to see we can uh, unscrew and remove the uh, main board we have uh, removed screws and let's try to disconnect all the cables and we are missing one go and we're gonna disconnect this piece here and i think we can remove this so let's also disconnect there are two cables underneath here here we go and the last one and the antenna here we go so let's also remove the antenna uh, i think we can just take a flat screwdriver normally the antenna is just glued on so it just needs to be gentle when you remove it. Oh, you just need a flat screwdriver and just be gentle. Here we go. Here we go. Here is the main board for the Beulah 15 and the antenna, also important. I'm gonna put it here. Uh, let's remove the next step we're gonna remove the uh, remove the power supply board let's do that here we go we have removed the screws and we can remove the power supply board and here it is look like this put it here so uh, next step will be uh, I think we should uh, see if we can remove oh, let's first get rid of all the screws here we go so uh, next step uh, i think we should uh, remove the the trigger unit let's do that the screws are removed and here we go here is the the trigger there's only some numbers here look like this put it here And this is the complete housing uh, with the radiators. Look like this. So we can't actually remove anything more. So yeah. So uh, next step is uh, we're gonna remove the the twitters at the side. Let's do that. So we have finally removed the 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 two twitters. So the twitter units. Uh, let's see if we can disconnect them. Oh, just need to cut this off. Go. If we can. The magnet is very strong. Here we go. And also remove this one here. And this, 
these two tweeters are connected. So next step is uh, we're gonna remove the big woofer. So let's do that. And the last screw remo is removed and we can just pop this out. And here is the beautiful woofer, it's 5.5 inch. So we're actually done for the build 15. Let's bring all the parts out uh, at the table and see what we have. So we have to uh, bring all, uh, the, all the parts at the table and let's see what we have. We have the main board, look like this. And we have the service port for the USB-C. Not USB-C, just some, I think it's some micro USB. We have the power supply board, the push button board we have the line in and USB board and here we go we have the, the physical buttons and we, here we have the Twitter units this is the, the cap it's broken but uh, I think someone can still use it the complete top part Big woofer and the chassis with the, the two radiators. So, uh, this was a full DSM process for the Beulet 15. I hope you have learned something and uh, enjoyed the video. And I hope you will subscribe to my channel and also uh, click on the bell button, ring bell button, and you will get notification when the new video is out. So, thank you for watching and have a nice day.